What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I'm still in Africa. Get back out with my bow. My dad's taking the old air rifle. Uh, he's after a mountain zebra and I'm after pretty much anything that comes in. So anything that's old, mature, and needs to be taken out. So I'm gonna go sit and stand the rest of the day, see what comes out, and hopefully get some dinner because we are doing catch, clean, and cooks in Africa. That's our little blind we're sitting in. Right. We have made it to the blind. It's a uh, 10:50 right now, so we still got a long time to sit. But cross fingers, hope something comes in. I say no. He's walking away. Yeah, right. Put the air gun on his shoulder. Okay. Where do you think you got him? I put it right on the shoulder. Okay. So I don't know. Okay, Mike just got him with the air gun. Like now. You've seen it, air gun. Big, big kudu. Um, we're on the track right now. We got some good blood on the ground. And, uh, so it's just a matter of time before we find him. All right, guys, what do you think about that? That was with a Air Force air gun, an air powered rifle, 457 caliber. Just put down this, I don't know, three, four hundred pound kudu, trophy kudu here at Akuja Safaris in Namibia with this gun. Thanks to Cameron, all the guys at Air Force. Um, Mullet man is in a blind with his bow. He said, hey, dad, take the, take the rifle. Go see what you can get done. Um, Dreykus said, let's, let's go find something. So we've been walking all morning long. We came across this big bull. It was done with a air rifle. And we're told this is the first air rifle in Namibia. At least the police station at the airport told us that. Uh, it's been, it's been a, a challenge, to say the least, getting this gun here. Uh, it is legal. and. Uh, Police guys, police chief actually approved it for us and we got it in here. Uh, guys in town supplied us with an air tank. Uh, we pressured it up, put it together this morning, sighted it in, and uh, and there it is. There's the results. Amazing, amazing gun and amazing technology what they're doing with, with air rifles these days. Drinking some balls. So good. Tomato cocktail.
we've been looking for. That's why you want to take it out. Yeah, you were doing him a favor. Yeah. You wouldn't make it another month. He's done. Oh, I'm shaking. Great shot. Did you hear that? Yeah, man. That was an awesome shot. Like, it doesn't get better. Yeah, you are doing him a favor. You wouldn't have made it another month. Yeah. He's so, he's literally like, so skinny and throwing up. He's, he looks like a baby because his body was so small. It's orange, he's not a giant, but you need to be taken out. That's a trophy to me for sure. Oh, thanks, buddy. He's no giant, but wow. I can't believe he's not broke off yeah. being that old. So it's about a 25 yard shot. That's where we were sitting right there. Just a little, uh, little old ground blind. But uh, he came into the water perfect. He was actually standing there for a little while and I saw him the whole time and Jackson never saw him. And Jackson looked out the window, he's like, oh, oh my gosh, that thing is so old, it's sick. And I had thought it was a baby the whole time. And uh, Jackson said I had to take him, so couldn't pass it up and uh, made a perfect shot. Couldn't ask for a quicker clean kill than that so super happy and uh, gonna get to feed us tonight and definitely the the skinners and trackers they'll take all the meat because obviously I can't take it all home I wish I could but uh, we're looking for the arrow right now it passed through them so fast that we can't even find it we think it went a lot further than uh, than we thought so we are actually waiting on the uh, skinners to come pick him up now, and then we're gonna sit the rest of the day. We decided we didn't want to leave him, uh, leave him out that long. So, now if you're wondering why I was after one of these oryx so bad, it's it's Namibia's national animal. So it's pretty neat to come to Namibia and get you a nice uh, oryx, but uh, I couldn't be happier with this one. Yeah, I need to I Thank you. Sweet. Let's go get in the blind. All right, guys, we just made it back to the uh, skinning shed. Our group is going to town. 
This is the orcs that I shot today. You can tell how old mine is compared to this one. Just old and manged up. They said we actually can't eat him. He's so old and uh, he's actually sick. So I'm glad I got him out of there. But we're going to use him for, uh, they're going to use him for leopard bait. They have a guy coming in next week for a leopard. So uh, it's pretty cool to see these guys clean these animals. They can knock it out in no time. Like thousand pound animal in no time. But uh, they keep the stomachs and everything. They do not waste a single thing. So uh, do some catch cleaning cooks while we're here. We just had some amazing dinners every night and uh, really haven't had time to cook anything. We've been getting back at like 9 o'clock every night, so uh, we're about to go eat dinner right now. So, unfortunately, after we got out of the blind yesterday, we went and went up to the heart of the beast that I shot that we thought was dead, and he wasn't dead. So we spooked him and he jumped up and ran off. These animals are freaking tough, man. I don't know what it is, but we went back, replayed all the footage, and it was a perfect lung shot. So he's dead. Um, it's the next morning. We're going to go find him right now and then uh, come back, and then we'll start a new video. They're all headed out right now. They're all sitting in a bow line today. I think we're going to uh, ride around and look for a big kudu. So we'll see y'all uh, when we find this harder piece, hopefully. Back on the road now. <laughs> All in the coyote. 